working fresh tutorial here we are going to set up max cdn for wordpress block uh, so before getting started make sure that you have max cdn icon of course you need it for it make sure you have um, and the free total cost plugin well, let's get it started first login into your account then go to manage zone then create a pool zone click on it after this process you'll get one form to fill some information uh, so here in pool zone name you have to uh, give the zone name that may be anything uh, your domain name or your own written name or anything it's like the username field original server url give the your website url that may be http your site name dot com okay like here uh, let's give it and on the original server url uh, let me give this make sure you put http and in the custom cdn name you have to keep uh, that cdn uh, domain that is uh, that may be any subdomain that's not currently being used uh, in your account okay let's um, let me give uh, this for my uh, domain name level you can put it anything it's like a tag okay you can just keep a uh, blog okay and compression it helps to save the bandwidth again okay? it will compress all the text HTML CSS and JavaScript and create click on create okay I'm not going to do this because I've already created this and just click and create after this you will you will ask to create a, a CNAME record okay uh, okay now I'm going to show you how to create a CNAME record okay just Okay, now login into your ship panel and in your ship panel you will see a domain section okay and in the domain you will see simple dns zone editor click on it and please note that this feature may not be available in all um, all C panel or in your account or it may not be available for different hosting company okay it may vary from a company to company uh, if you are using a host creator then this feature is enabled there if you're using a uh, just host, then you have to write the mail to mm, the hosting company to create the CDM record, okay? And they will do it. Don't worry about it. Now, in a gnome name, we have to keep this your C, mm, your dom, uh, your uh, custom CDN name that you have created before, okay? Okay, now in the CNAME record, okay? Let's oh, what's happening here. <laughs> sorry for this okay, in a cname record you have to keep the original cdn name okay so what it will do is it will redirect this url to this okay just create giving me feature yeah? okay now give this and give your cdn this is like uh, uh, it will be like a different mm, okay it will be like uh, something here okay you, you 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 can get it after creating this uh, pool zone okay and click click on add uh, c name and it will be shown here and after this information you have to configure now total free the um, you have to configure the plugin now okay in the performance in a plugin go to general setting okay general setting And make sure that uh, it will take some time to uh, active uh, to take this effect. So please be patient. Mm -hmm. It takes about 12 to 24 hours. Okay. So in some case it will be fast, and in some case it will be slow to take it effect. Okay. Now in the setting, scroll down, scroll down, and you will see you and search for configure and content delivery network. Okay. Enable the CDN, and we are going to configure CDN by using a mirror. Okay, you, you have a lots of different options, and we uh, we are using um, mirror. Okay, it's the best option. And click and save all setting. After this process, you got to go to CDN here. Okay, go to the CDN. And 
after this process you will see here okay configuration go to the configuration in here SSL support key uh, keep it auto okay don't do anything for it and we have to keep the CDN uh, that way uh, CDN domain name that that is this that we custom domain CDN domain okay that is sub domain that we have created while creating a C zone okay now after this you, if you want to try whether it's working or not you can just try it uh, by clicking a test mirror okay and test pass that means it's working okay now I click on add CDN and click on save all setting okay after this process your CDN will be active now how to check whether a CDM is working or not in a domain okay I'll go to your site oh this is my website blog you say oh now go to your blog unload it okay now you can see your blog now click on one post no matter what it is it's not a big problem now after this process uh, go to the image okay that you have uploaded uh, just see the image URL what might be the image URL for you okay there must be sudden change in the URL if there is no change in the URL then there then you might okay let's look at this okay now let's see the image here yeah? now let's see I've got the the URL that I've created CDN that that means my CDN is working now okay so it may take some time to take effect uh, to create uh, to um, take your C name active okay so be patient and you can also use direct uh, this URL okay that you uh, that's been given by uh, this uh, max CDN in this field but when someone look at your image then they will see this URL and it's not professional that someone see different URL in an image okay so make sure you will use um, a custom domain name for a CDM or that may be a subdomain for a CDN thank you for watching this tutorial and hope the CDN use will increase your traffic and improve SEO and site uh, speed of your website